do as a children of divinity deserve best in life to look after you to make sure that you have a livelihood and you live with peace and contentment and you have what is bare minimum needed for you to have is the duty of gods the responsibility of gods towards you but sometimes this responsibility is not getting fulfilled and this is because you are not connecting yourself with the divine in this particular connection in today's world one tries multiple types of remedies and they don't work of certainly if the remedies don't have an spiritual touch to it their working is always dubious that is there but even in the uh, in the path of worshiping the deity the, the siddh vidyas accomplished siddh vidya means accomplished knowledge are the vidyas are the knowledge features those deities who are known for their mercy who are known that anyone who comes to them anyone who prays to them anyone who follows them anyone who worships them anyone who is devoted to them is sure to get the result whatever they promise so siddh vidya is the deity where your minimum hard minimum hard work minimum effort gives you maximum result which i will not say is otherwise when it comes to other deities but this is the speciality and today we are going to talk of a very well known vidya very well known dt dt is well known but you know very less about that that is lakshmi in siddh vidya that is the accomplished knowledge for kali yuga siddhi lakshmi is there siddhi lakshmi lakshmi you know the god the wife of vishnu the younger sister of moon god or moon the planet lakshmi is known to all and lakshmi is the siddh vidya of kali yuga anyone who worships lakshmi in kali yuga anyone who worships lakshmi today gets her blessing but more we know about lakshmi very little we know about her worship how to worship her how to please her one thing is there two three things you must have understood by far lakshmi is the wife of vishnu vishnu is represented by mercury lakshmi comes out of the churning of oceans after moon so for that matter lakshmi is the younger sister of moon also so when moon or mercury or both moon and mercury are powerful in the horoscope one will get the blessings of lakshmi that is for sure this is the particular reason all the major wealth combinations are seen from the moon horoscope about which i have discussed in a recent video that is available on my hindi channel right to so leave the point so worshiping siddhi lakshmi doing the things that i am going to tell you is very very revolutionary revolutionary because it takes care of all the afflictions all the weaknesses of venus uh, sorry oh, sorry of moon and mercury in horoscope and because lakshmi is connected to venus also it takes care of all the afflictions and all the weaknesses related to venus also according to my research according to my mati according to my understanding the worship of siddh vidya siddh lakshmi should be connected with the sign libra and because libra is the natural seventh house this works as a remedy for seventh house also any problem related to libra any problem related to seventh house malefic planets in seventh house malefic planets in libra venus becoming weak or weak planet combust debilitated being situated in libra you should worship siddh lakshmi if the problems and afflictions regarding the sign libra the planet moon venus and mercury are creating issues and obstructions in your life the worship of siddhi lakshmi will be very beneficial to you not only this the worship of siddhi lakshmi is very important because you know the blessing achieving something is easy in life maintaining is difficult to get things in life in easy but to manage it and live peacefully with prosperity is difficult and lakshmi makes sure that whatever you achieve that lasts no matter 
what happens in life or whatever happens around you you live in peace you live in solace you live in content you live in contentment and there is there is nothing lacking from your life not only this even doing the worship to siddh lakshmi makes you sure that the vastu blemishes of home are also kept under control so generally in those cases where home have a very bad vastu which cannot be corrected without demolition and either the demolition is very huge that one will have to demolish the complete home or if somehow because of financial issues or something one cannot demolish then also the worship of siddhi lakshmi specifically using the method that i am going to tell you the most powerful method the one most powerful method is extremely 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 beneficial that most powerful method is worship of shri yantra do shri yantra is connected to lalita tripur sundari and sodashi but shri yantra is the king of yantras like gayatri mantra is the king of mantras and it is it should be taken as a manifestation of goddess lakshmi also despite the fact that it is connected with mahavidya but let's not waste our time into contradictions right shri yantra if one have shri yantra in their home all the vastu blemishes all the bad dashas antar dashas etc are kept under control one lives with peace harmony contentment and whatever is needed to live life and discharge your duties those things you fulfill those things you get but only having shri yantra is not enough the shri yantra diagram is very popular i am pretty sure all of you know about shri yantra and generally because shri yantra is so popular generally all shri yantras are well made right but still in that particular scenario what i have told you about yantras generally the yantra should be made up on a metal copper brass gold silver any metal but it should be made on a metal paper sticker does not work iron as a metal is not considered good so you should take a shri yantra this can be a normal shri yantra shri yantra made on a copper plate or that can be a 3d shri yantra also three dimensional shri yantra what is called meru prishth shri yantra it can also be that this shri yantra either you should place at the center of your home brahmasthan or in the northeastern side of your home northeastern side in the northeastern room of your home you should take a plate preferably made up of metal copper etc on that plate you should put a red or yellow cloth after putting that red and yellow cloth you should stand at a stand like this you should stand the shri yantra at a corner of it generally in front of you it should be placed every day or once a week once a month once a year depending on how much time you can manage secondarily depending on the intensity of the problem or how quickly you want the blessing of the devi to come you should take water mix that water with a little bit of milk water mixed with milk you keep it into a pot copper pot or anything as such you can use a spoon to pour the water or you can just pour the water directly pour this water over shri yantra while chanting the first 16 mantras of shri sukta while chanting the first 16 mantras of shri suktam that is a very popular stotra that you will easily find pour water over this shri yantra pouring water over 3d shri yantra is good if you cannot get a 3d shri yantra over normal shri yantra is also fine after this water is completely poured this pouring of water you will have to do while holding the shri yantra in your hand or keeping it over a separate plate or a separate bowl that plate or bowl should be of a metal not steel not iron and preferably not glass also so copper brass gold plate it should be and after doing it this is jalabhishekam this is jalabhishekam of shri yantra milk mixed with water poured over shri yantra while chanting the first 16 mantras of shri sukta you can repeat it so you can do the 16 mantras of shri suktam once thrice five times seven times nine times ten times or as many number as you can 
the repetition should be in order number. So one time, three time, five time, seven time. This you should do and after doing it, hold the Sri Yantra still so that all the water gets out of it, all the water gets, you know, like goes over it and Sara Pani Nikal Jaya You should hold it for some time to make it dry. And after that, you keep this Sri Yantra on that plate which is covered by yellow or red cloth. Silk cloth, cotton cloth is good. Preferably red is good. Then yellow. Keep it in the standing position and after keeping it in the standing position, position doing tilakam. Doing tilakam to the Sri Yantra. Showing dhupam to the Sri Yantra. Showing deepam to the Sri Yantra. Giving flowers to the Sri Yantra. And putting a little bit of sandalwood into the Sri Yantra. Or like if you do tilakam with sandalwood or tilakam with vermilion, this will be tilakam also and uses of vermilion sandalwood also. This will take care of two tattvas. All these elements of showing the lamp, showing the dhupam, showing the deepam are showing one tattva to the yantra or the deity or the god. And because these are the five tattvas that you are offering to the deity, it takes care of the blemishes of Panchang. This is step one or this is mediocre. This is, you know, common that every human can do level of Panchang Pujan. Five elemental worship. Anyone who is having any type of Panchang blemish, born in a bad Tithi, born in a bad Nakshatra, born in a bad Yoga, born on a bad weekday, born in a bad Karan, should perform Panchang Puja at least once a month. At least if you are born in a bad nakshatra, perform panchang puja once a month when moon is going through that nakshatra. Born or bad tithi, perform panchang puja twice a month when moon goes through that tithi. Born on a bad weekday, perform panchang puja once a week on that particular weekday. Moon is going through bad yoga, sorry, born in bad yoga, perform panchang puja when that same yoga occurs again every month. Born in a bad Karan, then perform Panchang Puja when twice a month when moon goes through the Tithi that you are born in. Karan is interdependent on Tithi. Doing this also takes care of the Panchang blemishes and makes sure that person have success in life. And not only this in the house where this, where the Shri Yantra is worshipped using this method, all the Vastu blemishes etc. of that go of that home also go away. And the one who is doing it, the wife, the spouse, the children of such person also remain prosperous, happy. And the person never have to beg anyone for anything, beg to anyone. The, the one who is doing this do not even have to beg to gods for anything that he needs or wants in life. All the wishes and desires are fulfilled. That is the greatness of Lakshmi. In this way, this should be done. Right? So the basic level of Panchanga Poojan, worshipping the deity with the use of five elements, Dhupam, Deepam, Tilagam, and all of that. Takes care of Panchanga also. And after that is done, 108 names of Lakshmi, Sri Suktam, or the Indrakrit Lakshmi Stotra or any Stotra of Goddess Lakshmi can be chanted in front of the Sri Yantra or if you know good Sanskrit, reading Sondar Lahari Stotram, Sobhagya Stotra Satanam Stotram in front of the Sri Yantra will be worshipping the Sri Yantra and by worshipping the Sri Yantra you will get the blessings of Goddess Siddhi Lakshmi. So it is a best remedy. This is one of the most powerful remedy, the best remedy for Moon or Mercury for Venus, for Libra sign, and for the seventh house. This you can do yourself, and the frequency you have to decide yourself. If you want to do it for Mercury, do it every Wednesday, want to do it for Venus, do it every Friday, want to do it for Moon, do it every Monday. If you want to do it for Libra sign, then do it on every Purnima or Amavasya. If you want to do it for seventh house, do it on every Purnima and Amavasya. Good on 
every Purnima and Amavasya both. So twice a month, once a month, right? The, the frequency depends on how quickly you can do it. But this should be done. And you know what? When we listen to, you know, people going through problems, generally those problems that are very serious, that one cannot easily come out from, enmity, debt, health issues and all of these things, we sometimes feel helpless. When the luck is creating problem, you are not getting what you deserve, you can do other remedies and can come out of it. But when you yourself have created the problem, if this is a problem related to a bad decision that you yourself have created or something that is irreversible such as disease, or for example, you have taken loan and now there is difficulty repaying that. In that particular scenario, other remedies may not work. But such devotional worship related remedies work a miracles. So they work when the thing can be easily remedied by using other methods also, gemstones, etc. Also at that place, worship related remedies work very miraculously. And even at those places where other remedies may not work, such as in the case of disease, etc. At that place also, it works very miraculous. Right? So this should be done primarily. Other than that, for Siddhi Lakshmi, see, stotras of Lakshmi are many. But very importantly, Indra Krit Lakshmi Stotra, the Stotra for Lakshmi sung by Indra, Sri Sukta, 108 names of Goddess Lakshmi. These three Stotras, according to my experience, are very powerful and can take out take you out of any type of not only financial difficulty. Lakshmi is not financial difficulty. Lakshmi is you want something and you are not having it. A normal person should get married but he is not getting married. Lakshmi will solve it. A normal person should have a little bit of name, fame, status, respect. He is not having it. Lakshmi will give it. Finance is needed for you to live a peaceful life so that Lakshmi that also Lakshmi gives. But other than that, anything that one needs in their life in order to live a complete life, life of totality, everything of that Lakshmi gives. So these three stotras of Lakshmi are very important. Along with that, if you read Sri Suktam, up to the last, there are three mantras for Lakshmi. There are three mantras for Lakshmi given in Sri Suktam. Chanting those three mantras are also very, very, very beneficial. Right. One of that is Lakshmi Gayatri. Right. Mahalakshmi Chividmahe Vishnu Patanya Chidimahi Tannu Lakshmi Prachodayat. This mantra is very good, very strong mantra for Lakshmi. So you can add Om into it. Om Mahalakshmi Chividmahe Vishnu Patanya Chidimahi Tannu Lakshmi Prachodayat. This one. Or Om Vishnu Patanim Chamam Devim Madhavim Madha Priyam Vishnu Priyasakim Devim Namamachatavallavam. This mantra, this Namaskar mantra to pay salutations to Goddess Lakshmi. And this mantra of Om Salsajan Eliya Saroja Haste Daval Taransuk Ganda Malisobe Bhagavati Harivalabe Manugi Tribun Bhuti Gari Prasid Mahiyam. This mantra. Any of these three mantra, if you are chanting on the Rosary of Lotus. Lotus seeds, Kamalagatti ke mala, what we call. On a rosary made up of <clears throat> crystals, uh, crystals, white crystals, what we call as uh, asphatic. Asphatic or just chanting these mantras without counting for 5, 10, 15 minutes in front of Sri Yantra, after doing the process that I have told you in front of the goddess, in front of the image of goddess Lakshmi is highly beneficial for all the problems that I have told you. So a very good remedy to please goddess Siddha Lakshmi and not only this, you know, there is a goddess by the name of Shakumbari. So Shakumbari is not a Mahavidya, but she is mentioned multiple times and highly eulogized in Durga Shakti. The part is the Clan of Devi is so big that Mahavidyas are separate, Navdurgas are separate, then there are nine Vanadurgas also, 
then there are separate deities mentioned in saptashati then there are separate goddesses mentioned around saptashati in those things such as argala etc which is considered to be a part of saptashati and though many a times the name is the same but the goddesses are different the kali from saptashati the kali of devi kavach the kali from uh, you know the kali from madhu kaita episode the kali as a mahavidya the kali of kashmir system the kali of kerala system though they are all kalis but they are different so devi panathan is so big and what i was saying that the sakumbhari the goddess multiple temples of sakumbhari you can find all over up sakumbhari is closely connected to lakshmi so visiting a sakumbhari temple and praying to her as goddess lakshmi will also give you the blessing of goddess siddha lakshmi not only this mahalakshmi temple in maharashtra tirumala tirupati in andhra pradesh going at these temples also gives you the blessings of goddess mahalakshmi so you should visit this place as you visit a pilgrimage and while standing in the sanctum sanctorium of the temple chanting any of these three mantras that i have told you will be highly greatly beneficial not only this you can go to any local lakshmi temple and there also you can chant these three mantras either if you want to chant to number of malas you can take a lotal lotus seed rosary or you can take crystal rosary and chant the mantra either one mala or any number of mala in odd numbers one mala three mala five mala seven mala or just keep on mentally chanting it that will give you the blessings of goddess lakshmi right so lakshmi temple also you can go but other than that other than that i think lakshmi is the only goddess whose worship one can also do or one can honor the goddess honor the goddess even without worshiping her so there are a few things there are a few very important things to get the blessings of lakshmi that i am going to specifically talk about to you right because, because lakshmi is such a special goddess that she is present everywhere in everyone's life so few of the major things that i have seen with respect to lakshmi see the sri suktam itself tells you how to get lakshmi the secret of getting lakshmi and you know sri suktam comes from vedas because sri suktam is coming from vedas this is the vaidik way to get lakshmi right this is the vaidik way to get lakshmi and following the path of vedas gives you everything is a known and accepted truth without any doubt right so sri suktam itself says na krodho na cha matsaryam na lobho na subhamati na krodho the one who does not get angry is not affected by anger na cha matsaryam the one who is not having jealousy na lobho the one who is not having greed na shubhamati and the one who does not think ashub in auspicious for others gets the blessing of lakshmi so if you control your anger or even if you get angry you just don't you know like act in anger you don't get jealous of people you don't get greedy and you don't think ill of others in that particular scenario lakshmi will automatically start blessing not only that one who wear clean washed cloth every day lakshmi loves that person one who wear dirty clothes lakshmi stays away from that person so another important thing is your desk your work table you should clean every day because lakshmi loves the place what is clean and lakshmi stays away from the place what is dirty for this particular reason i always say that the trines 159 houses are the houses of lakshmi in horoscope and when malefics are there when malefics are in 159 houses Malefics indicate dirt, so the trines, the houses of Lakshmi becomes dirty, and to the owner of such horoscope, Lakshmi stays away. So keeping such places clean is another remedy. And third mistake that we do, you know, if you look at a naked woman, specifically in daytime, Lakshmi hates a such person. So watching these, you know, dirty things such as pornographic movies, etc., are also bad. if you want the blessings of lakshmi this is also bad this should also be avoided so these three things one should have in their nature because no matter how much you worship lakshmi 
But if these three things that I have told you, the four advices of Sri Suktam, and uh, watching someone naked, completely naked person of opposite gender in lust, and being dirty, keeping the surroundings dirty. If that is there, then in that scenario, even after worshipping Lakshmi a lot, getting the blessing of Lakshmi becomes difficult. On the other hand, if one follows all of these things that is told in that particular scenario, even if one does not worship Lakshmi, but still because of the nature, behavior, character and work of such person, Lakshmi remains happy on such person and they get the blessings of Lakshmi. And most importantly, Lakshmi, the goddess, becomes happy by donation. So, you know, the story of Sankaracharya and Lord Lady. Sankaracharya went to ask for alms. He met with a lady. The lady was so poor that she could not give anything. So, gave her him a gooseberry fruit. Sankaracharya became very sensitive about the lady. Next day, he went her home and prayed to Goddess Lakshmi. Invoked the Goddess Lakshmi who told her that this lady did not donate anything in previous life. Because of that, she is not having wealth in this life. Only the one who does proper donation gets the blessings of Lakshmi in next life. Hearing this, Sankaracharya created Kanagdhara Stotram, which made the lady be blessed by Goddess Lakshmi. Leaving this particular point, the gist of the story is the gist of the story is that donation pleases Lakshmi. Specifically, donation of cloth, donation of grains, donation of fruit, donation of good food to any needy person in general and to the temple and priest, wise men, learned men, those who are worshipping God, those who are devoted to God, donating food, cloth, fruit, grains to such people also attracts the blessings of Lakshmi. What I will say, the one who keeps on donating on a regular basis. In the life of that person, in one to year of continuous donation, there is no lack that is left in their life and everything gets fulfilled in their life by the blessings, by the grace of God. Just you have to make sure that the donation is to be made to someone who is devoted. Who is devoted to God. Donating to someone who is not devoted is not considered. Is a very basic point. So donation as a habit right? also pleases Lakshmi and if one does that, this is very good. Specifically the donation of cloth etc. On the days of Amavasya, Purnima, when the sun is transiting from one sign to another sign, Sankranti, on your birth tithi, on your birth nakshatra, on your birth day, donation is, donation is more important. And on these days, donation should be done. And one who continuously keeps on donating on these days, they also get the blessing of Lakshmi just by donations. So these are Multiple remedies, though not, not all, right? but these are multiple remedies related to Goddess Lakshmi, which if one does, they will get the blessings of Lakshmi. And as a blessing of Lakshmi, whatever one rightfully needs, whatever is needed in life, whether it is wife, children, respect, owner, wealth, home, property, land, that one will get. Remedy of the sign Libra and the seventh house will happen. Pacification and strengthening of the planet Mercury, Venus and Moon will happen. And the person will live in peace, live in solace and whatever the person needs, he will get his needs fulfilled automatically. And in Kali Yuga, in today's time, because Lakshmi is a Siddha Vidya, if one actually wants to work towards their betterment and the betterment of people around them, worship of Lakshmi is a must. There is no two thought about it and there is no another way across it. So this should be done very carefully. 
And I think with this video and with the advices that I have given in this video, you people will follow it and will deliver yourself from suffering to the life of enjoyment, satisfaction, contentment, and calm. And you will also enjoy living under the blessing of God.